Hi, welcome to Expert Amateur. So I didn't design or build the ground mount system at my home on the North Shore of Maui. It was done by a professional installer who left the solar business years ago. It looks improbably flimsy, but it's held a double row of 32 Sanyo 250 watt panels for the last 13 years through several near miss hurricanes with the panels angled against the wind coming off the ocean in the worst possible direction. Um, at the worst possible angle. It's kind of like a catcher's mitt for the wind. And Maui is famous for wind, from the nearly constant trades to three hurricanes that passed about 50 miles offshore. So I'm making my way down this ridiculously steep slope to get to it. The main supports are galvanized steel T-posts, the kind you see holding up barbed wire fences everywhere pounded into the ground with no additional concrete or even gravel, bolted to one inch square anodized aluminum tubing to make up the framework with uh, standard unistrut channels, T-nuts and panel brackets, all bolted together with stainless bolts. My amateur mechanical engineer persona looks at the aluminum and stainless combination on a structure that's basted with salt mist from monster waves. We are the next bay over from the infamous Jaws, uh, which crash on a beach that's less than half a mile and 440 feet below. And I think, wow, this thing's going to melt uh, itself electrochemically in no time, but it hasn't. In fact, it's unchanged in, in appearance from the day it was built. It reminds me of one of those matchstick bridge projects that hold some improbable weight. It seems worthwhile to take a look at this construction. Obviously, I'm not recommending a similar design. Companies that are designing DIY solar racks or building solid, safe equipment that can be assembled by anyone, but it seems worthwhile to know what's feasible. After looking at my racks here more closely, I suspect anything I build in the future will be much lighter but better engineered, meaning more intelligently braced, because the bracing plus the deep placement of those T-posts is what keeps this structure standing when a structure that depended only on the strength of the post would probably fail. I suspect anyone with a understanding of mechanical engineering will comment something like, well, of course that works, and here's why. So I look forward to the comments. <laughs> 